Well, hi, this is Ken with Village Green, and we have finally gotten out of, out of the cool spring mode. It is no longer cool, so I wanted to, to talk to you a little bit about what to expect. So we've actually had a, a pretty severe winter. Um, I know it didn't feel like we had a lot of cold days, but what we had was really warm weather, 60, 70 degrees, and then we dropped down in, into the 20s, and then we'd have another 60, 70 degree day, and then we dropped down into the teens. And we kept going up and down like that, then we had ice. So the result of that is that some of the lawns that we've seen have, have been struggling. Typically speaking, uh, what, what happens is we'll see freeze damage in, in St. Augustine lawns in particular. It's a tropical plant, it doesn't like cold weather, and it really doesn't like warm weather followed by that cold and then back up again. It's kind of a roller coaster that it, it, it struggles to handle. Uh, and we had a later uh, spring than usual. We're about three weeks behind on our warm weather. But as is typical in Texas, uh, it's like a light switch, and so uh, sometime last week we flipped up into the into the 90 degree weather, and it looks like we won't dip really below 90 degree degree highs for a while, and and we will also won't have any rain. So uh, we will see this winter damage, and we also saw a lot of cool season weeds that just didn't want to go away. All of that now is going to improve. I know we we people don't particularly like the hot weather. But the grass does, actually. Uh, so we see this freeze damage in areas that are unprotected. So uh, this area is, is way out in the open. There aren't any real trees to protect it. So that's typically where we're going to see the, the freeze damage in St. Augustine. Uh, a week or two ago, uh, when I looked at this lawn, it really looked hammered. It, it was really struggling. And now, uh, now, we're seeing a whole lot of green grass. It's 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 uh, greened up. It's starting to spread. Typically speaking, once we start having this warm weather, the the grass uh, within just a few weeks fills in, and you won't even know that that it struggled. That's the advantage of St. Augustine out in the full sun. Is it's a crazy aggressive plant, and and it starts filling in. This area over here, it's probably hard to tell now, but a week or two ago. It was really looking bad, and now it's hard to find the spots where, where it was struggling. So there is hope. Uh, the, the main thing that, that uh, you'll need to do now that we're in this, this mid-90 degree weather uh, and no rain in sight, at least so far, make sure that you're watering properly. That's the key to getting the, the grass to, to bounce back and doing well. Uh, so the grass is going to start growing well. The weeds are going to start going away. Uh, it, it'll be it'll be a good time for the lawns in, in this area. This is Ken with Village Green. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also send them on to your friends and family. Ken with Village Green, growing plants, growing people, and growing relationships.